hello everyone so in this video we will see if we need to convert our currently tabular server mode into multi-dimensional mode so how can we do this so first of all we need to stop our running SQL Server analysis service so once it's stopped let's wait for it's stopping okay then we need to go where we have installed our SQL Server and we need to change dot .inf file so I have my installation port in this folder so I need to change this file but keep in mind that we can't open this file unless until we don't have run as administrator so to run we need to open notepad as administrator mode to edit this uh, file so let me run this as an administrator okay then I will go to the same folder msmdr dsrv file now I need to find deployment mode so let me search copy this and find in the file deployment mode zero mean we have multi-dimensional two mean we have tabular and one mean we have shared points so let me search in a file deployment mode yes so to mean we have already a tabular mode now we need to convert into multi-dimensional mode for that we need to change 2 into 0 so let me change it keep in mind the objective of this uh, exercise is on a same server we can use either tabular mode or s or multi-dimensional mode without having multiple SQL server so now let's start this service service starting service taking time maybe there is issue I will explain you once I get an error from this service then I will explain you what is the issue wait for a while let it should be completed okay so we get the request error that we have already a folder so what we need we need to empty the current uh, you know folder where we have a data why because I already told you that this SQL Server either support tabular mode or multi-dimensional mode not on both modes simultaneously so in this case what we need this is a tabular project so we need to clean or clear this folder so I am going to copy it for my future reference rather than deleting it let me copy this folder or backup this folder I would say let's say name is backup okay then I will go in data folder and remove all the files and including folders okay cool so now let's restart the job it's running successfully now we need to check whether our mode is converted into multi-dimensional or not first refresh let uh, go to property yeah here you can say the server mode is now converted into multi-dimensional mode so let me go one more thing visual studio 2019 and where we can create a project we will not develop anything but for our testing purpose we will create a multi-dimensional project either we s are able to see all the related things okay so we will select analysis service multi-dimensional data mining project first one and let's create 
any name so I am creating this folder in my working folder just for my reference ok and let me let it to should be created okay here you go so we created successfully Q project so now we can work on this project multi-dimensional project so I hope you understand how we can convert our multi-dimensional project into tabular or vice versa we can do it if we convert 0 to 2 or 2 to 0 uh, thank you very much for watching this video take care bye